welcome back to Prime News. We got five big stories for you today. Nintendo had their financial briefing last night, and while we actually have all the information about that financial briefing in a prior video that you could check out up here, uh, we also have some additional details from the Q&A session we want to dive into, especially given a new rumor video that we dropped today. In fact, heck, you can go up there and check out this rumor video we talked about earlier today as well. But before we do anything else, I got to remind you, we are giving away two copies of Mario Strikers Battle League. That's right. We're giving away two copies right now. You can head down to the link down in the description or the pinned comment to enter. We will be announcing the winner on day one of Prime Gaming Fest at 9 a.m. Central. This is taking place on June 9th. Prime Gaming Gaming Fest. We're going to have thousands of dollars of giveaways going on. This is just one of many giveaways happening during that event, but you can actually enter this one right now. Sort of a pre- kickoff giveaway. I'm really excited about that. And by the way, if this is the first time you've ever checked out Nintendo Prime, I would appreciate if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you, Especially if you like, you know, gaming news, discussion, debate, entertainment, everything. All right, now let's get into our first story. And our first story deals with the fact that, hey, Remember yesterday on Prime News when we talked about how Emily Rogers sort of hinted that there would be an indie world happening and happening soon, likely this week? Well, guess what? Today, Nintendo of America and the rest of Nintendo, I suppose, has announced a new indie world. It's going to be 20 minutes long, happening tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Time. Uh, yeah, and that's basically all the information they gave us. They didn't tell us any games or whatever to look forward to. Obviously, this has caused like Hollow Knight Silk Song to go trending on Twitter and stuff like that because everyone wants news on that game. So we have no idea what's going to be be in this Indie World Direct. I'm going to obviously be live stream reacting to it. In fact, uh, after I start editing this video, I'm actually going to get that stream set up for you guys. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Uh, in Indie World's typically also a precursor to like Nintendo Directs the following month. We have June coming up. Nintendo usually does something in June every single month or every single year outside of 2020. So I don't know, June 14th, maybe that's like a day to look forward. I'm just saying, I'm just speculating, okay? Not a rumor or anything, but yeah, we have an Indie World tomorrow and that's pretty awesome. Now this next story is kind of neat and also a little bit frustrating on a personal level, but still cool. Monster Hunter Sunbreak. So Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is big DLC dropping this summer for Monster Hunter Rise coming to PC and obviously Nintendo Switch. This is really cool and to commemorate this they're actually releasing a custom Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This obviously also goes along with the fact that there's been custom Monster Hunter Switches in the past at least in Japan. Uh, it's always frustrating to me because for some reason this franchise Monster Hunter gets the customized Nintendo treatment better than Nintendo's own IP. Like we got Mario Joy-Con. They were just red Mario Red Joy-Con. Nothing special about them. We don't have any customized Pro Controllers about it. We don't have any customized Nintendo Switches for it. We did get a customized one for Smash Bros, I suppose. Uh, Animal Crossing just got colored Joy-Con. I Technically a little bit more. But I, I look, it's, it's a little frustrating. Like Zelda, Breath of the Wild is almost at 30 million and we don't have a custom Zelda system. I... I don't know. It is what it is. This is still really, really neat. And for Monster Hunter fans out there trying to collect everything or needing a new pro controller, maybe this is something to look into. Uh, if there's some pre-order links for it, I'll try to find them. I, they might only be available in some territories such as Europe. Uh, so, you know, you just got to kind of dig around to find it. A lot of times these custom controllers don't release worldwide. So we'll just have to, you know, dig around and do our best to find some pre-order links for you guys. Our next story actually comes from Electronic Arts. That's right. We're talking about EA. It's been a little bit since we talked about EA unless it was just something negative EA was doing. Well, they had their financial briefing uh, the, today, and during this briefing, they teased four titles coming in 2023, which has the internet all speculating away. So, we have a major IP, a partner title, a remake, and a sports title. That doesn't tell you much. Now, why would they tease a sports title? I'm guessing they must be launching a new sports franchise next year uh, because, you know, they don't really tease, oh my gosh, we're having another Madden. Oh, we're having another, not FIFA anymore. It's now like football, FC or whatever. But yeah, oh my gosh, we're gonna have new games in our already ongoing games. Usually not what they do. So a major new IP or a major IP coming, don't know what that's gonna be. <laughs> I keep hoping for like Dragon Age. Come on, Dragon Age, let's go. We haven't heard news on you in a long time. A major remake that obviously has people really excited. And a partner title. The partner titles tend to be some of the better titles that come out of them. It Takes Two, as an example, was a partner title from Joseph Farah and his development studio. So yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of cool to know that, hey, EA's got more new stuff coming and maybe some of this new stuff is actually going to be exciting and good. I guess we won't find out until 2020. 
2023. So our last uh, update today, our fourth story deals with the investor meeting that happened last night. Again, click up here if you want all of the exact details from that investors meeting. But there's some additional stuff I want to bring up that matters. First off, uh, it has turned out that in the last fiscal year, which was 2021 ending fiscal year of March of 2022, Nintendo sold more software on their platform than in the entire history of Nintendo in any given year. 235 million pieces of total software sold, which again, that tops the Wii years, that tops the DS years. They've never had a year where they've sold more software than the last fiscal year for an individual platform. That is very, very exciting and very good news for Nintendo. Now, another thing that happened is they had their investors Q&A and no, unfortunately, we do not have all the Q&A questions to dig through right now. Sometimes there's some juicy stuff in there. Sometimes there's just not a lot, but one tidbit matters and matters greatly because Nintendo has some weird things going on in their projected financials for the next year where they're projecting significant hardware and software drops, yet their profit margin drops are not nearly as much as they would be to compensate, which suggests Nintendo's planning to make money in some other way, maybe an increased price in their hardware or an increased price in Nintendo Switch Online or something, right? They're, they gotta be making up this revenue somewhere and it doesn't really say where that revenue makeup's coming from. Well, Shintura Furukawa was asked, pretty much like he is every single investor's meeting, directly, hey, are you planning to release new Switch hardware during the current fiscal year ending March 2023? Shintura Furukawa responded by saying, I don't want to comment on it at this time. Now, you might go, of course that's what he said. Except that's not what Shintura Furukawa has said for years. He's gone from outright denying there was gonna be new hardware to stating, oh, we're always working on some new hardware all the time. You know, Switch is in the middle of its life cycle and has many, many years ahead of it. Like, those are typically the statements he gives when these questions come up. This time around, he's just like, yeah, we're just not gonna talk about that, okay, thank you. Um. Yeah, forgive me for maybe reading a bit too much into this, but that is an extremely different response from the president of Nintendo and really doesn't do anything to quell people's expectations of new Switch hardware at some point in the next fiscal year. So if you were looking for a shred of hope from Nintendo themselves on new Switch hardware, you could argue that Shintura Furukawa just left that door wide open because he doesn't even really want to talk about it right now. He doesn't want to reiterate that the Switch is going to be is still in the middle of its life cycle. He doesn't want to reiterate they have nothing coming. He doesn't want to say, oh, we're always working on new hardware. It's just, I don't really want to talk about this right now. Fair enough, Shintura Furukawa. You can talk about whatever the heck you feel like, but this just doesn't really sound like a denial. Um, in fact, it's outright not a denial. He's not saying there won't be Switch hardware this year. He's just saying he doesn't want to talk about it. All right, man, I tip my cap to you on that one. Uh, the questions are not going anywhere. I think this almost gets me expecting some sort of Switch hardware revision or new hardware or something announced in this fiscal year, but you know, there still is chip shortages and all that. Although Nintendo is still making 20 plus million Switches a year. It doesn't really feel like the shortages are affecting them as much as maybe we think they are, but hey, I think it's pretty easy to nab a Switch right now. I can go to Amazon right now and buy any Switch I want. So at MSRP, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm Nathaniel Robert Jeff from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you thought about all of this news down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.